guys, I'm here with Jennifer Williamson from Amex Global Business Travel. She is the HRS Director and today we're going to be talking about women in Workday. Uh, Jen, if you want to do a, a quick introduction to, to who you are and what you do, that would be great. Yeah, sure. I can do that. So thanks for having me, Emily. It's, um, you know, it's, I hope it's going to be a fun experience, but I, I have no so. doubt it will be. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm Jen Williamson. Um, you know, I've been working in the workday space for over 10 years at this point. Um, and most recently, my career here, I've been at Amex GBT for three and a half years, um, and I've known some pretty, some pretty good career growth while I'm here um, and developing, you know, furthering my skills within the workday space. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to share my journey with you. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And I think that that was one of the reasons why I um, was specifically interested in speaking to you. I mean, I'm interested to speak to, to any woman in the space, but you know, you're you're in a super senior role for a company that most of us know kind of off the cuff. And yeah. it's one that, um, I mean, I use far too much of. <laughs> um, and I'm sure so many people can is relate that to that. Is that such a thing? Yes, it is definitely is a thing. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, to be fair, I've, I've, I've saved quite a lot of air miles throughout this period, which is ironic because I can't yeah. use them to go anywhere. Um, no. No. but but I'm sure it'll be helpful in the future but but no yeah keen yeah. to just hear more about your journey kind of where you started I think in the workday space some people start from a super HR based background and, and work their way yeah. into the workday system space other people are very IT orientated and then want to go more kind of process orientated so keen to hear your journey and a little bit more about your path into into workday and your position now yeah no, it's, um, I hope it's interesting. I think so, it will be. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, you know, I started off um, in the payroll and benefits space, more focused okay. in on benefits um, mm -hmm. and managing, um, you know, the employee benefits program, mm -hmm. helping to answer questions, you know, managing renewals and all of that. Um, and during that time with, within that company, um, you know, I got more and more involved within you know, the system side of it, I wasn't by any means responsible for it, but we did a couple upgrades, you know, they asked for feedback. Mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the key things here is that I met who would be one of my favorite people in the world, my okay. manager there. Um, she had ended up moving on to a different company. Um, and she had reached out when they had decided that they were going to go with a new HR system. Um, and based off of our time together, uh, prior, she was like, you want to come on board? And I was oh. like, you know, so my journey into the workday space started um, week one of my new job. I flew to Pleasanton, okay. California for, for HR, you know, workday fundamental yeah. training in 2011, Crazy. Uh, January, 2011. I know. And then week two actually started orientation with that company wow. itself. Um, so, you know, as they like to recall it, you know, it's drinking from the fire hose, right? So I learned Workday as I learned the company that I yeah. was working for um, at the same time. And I have to say it was hard work, right? We yeah. did a six month implementation. So wow. I'm no stranger to implementations either. And yeah. then, um, you know, I was there for five years, um, you know, saw some people, <clears throat> you know, come and go within the Workday mm -hmm. space, but we were such a small company yeah. um, that I really became almost a one man band for a right. lot of it. Um, you know, I managed through seven acquisitions wow. in a year while keeping the lights on, um, you know, for everything else that we were running for performance and talent yeah. and benefits and all of everything. So I was, it was. It's great exposure hard, though. It's, it's a massive, it yeah. was such good exposure. Um, you know, I really stretched the limits of my I'm brain. Sure. Yeah. Um, but I also had, you know the ability to take workday training basically whenever I wanted to, you know, and be like, so okay, important. well, if you want this, how about yeah. you train me on it? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I've probably attended 10 or 12 classes wow. at this point, you know, yeah. over my tenure um, of being here. And, you know, it just, it never stops being interesting. Yeah. Like workday is always interesting and it's always changing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you really have to stay on top of it too. I mean, yeah. the fundamentals class I took 10 years ago, it's not, relevant it now. <laughs> not, it's not super relevant at this point. Yeah. I still have the book though. I, still you still have, the book? I have a whole drawer. <laughs> I have a whole box. Amazing. Training books. 
well, just in case yeah you, know, you never know them now yeah yeah <laughs> just in case you need to go back to basics yeah well I'm sure you wouldn't be the basic. one doing it <laughs> No, no. I mean, we were, I mean, I, I still have this. We were customer 243. Oh, wow. No way. For the whole of work when, day. Yeah. All of work day. Yep. When we, we, That's when we picked work day for that company, we were 243. Yeah. I don't even know how many clients they have now. Um, but yeah, a lot more yep, than 243. that. 243. Wow. Yeah, That's insane. For sure. So obviously you've been in the space for, for a long time. 10 years is is a long time to be in one technology, to be so ingrained in one space. And I think Workday is such an ecosystem. Like you know what's going on at your company, but you, there's so many events, there's so much networking that you tend to get to know other people in other companies doing similar things. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting to hear kind of what you think about how the diversity perhaps has changed or not changed did it always start off as being quite a, a female orientated or a quite a gender neutral area or have you found that over the time you've been doing it there's more and more women coming into the space you know I have to say um I think it's you know HR within itself is a very yeah. female dominated, Definitely. you know, sector, you yeah. know, and I didn't start in the IT side. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like Workday being the system that it is and the way they've structured it, yeah. it gives people that are at the core and HR professional, yeah. the ability to manage this as well. Yeah. So um, I think it's, it's a lot different because we're not looking at, you know, I'm not saying that there's not women coders out there and yeah. engineers and all of that, but you don't have to no. be one yeah. in order to manage Workday. And I think mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why it sticks out so much and why there, I feel like there are more and more women coming yeah. into this space uh, because it's not, you know, I didn't have to it's go back scary. to learn how yeah. to code anything. Yeah. No, it's not that scary. Yeah. You know, once you understand it, um, once you understand one part of it, yeah. once you take that fundamentals course, you can really just run with it yeah. um, without looking at X's and O's. I'm not a technical person no. at all. It's just, it's not something, I can barely do HTML <laughs> coding. Um, I managed to get it done, but it's not within my yeah. space. And I think not that, you know, technology has always been, you know, a very consistently male driven industry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, that that tide is turning, you know, you see more and more women going into that STEM and technology space. Mm -hmm. I think Workday bridges that gap where, you know, there's comfort because we, we're an HR professional, right? Yeah. And you're at the core, but the system isn't embedded in code yeah. that you're trying to manage and recode and do, um, you know, your button clicking and yeah. typing and activating and you know doing it from from a place that's more comfortable yeah 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 no definitely and I mean so often we find that people who come from like a more HR or process-led background actually make for the best work they consultants because they can see it from both sides they know what they need it yeah. to look like whereas mm -hmm. on the IT side I mean don't get me wrong I'm not there's I'm not saying anything bad about people who are very IT orientated, but sometimes there's that lack of communication between actually being behind and building something and coding yeah. something to knowing what it needs to look like and, and how user friendly it needs to be. And so I actually think it just creates the, the perfect path for more women to be involved in, in technology through HR. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Yeah. Um, you know, I, it, it, so one of the biggest things that I think about every day mm -hmm. is who my, who my customers are, right? Yeah. So, you know, I'm the functional manager. So mm -hmm. all of the functional, everything that you see in Workday falls on me and my team mm -hmm. um, to make sure that it's working for the end user, but it's also working for the administrators and it's working for, you know, like our tier one team that's yeah. sort of, you know, responsible for employee inquiries. Like, how do we make it easy for them yeah. to understand it and not just easy for us to administer it. Like there has to be a balance and yeah, striking that balance is something that I think gets lost when yeah. you're so focused just when on the really technology side of yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and thinking of it that way, I mean, I guess you could also use it on, on the flip side because where HR is such a, a female dominated area, I suppose Workday also kind of bridges that gap and brings more men into human resources and gets them thinking more about the process led stuff. So it, so it works both ways. It's really about diversity, I guess, rather than just one or the other. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my direct leader here at Amex GBT, he's, he's a male. He's one yeah. of the very few on, I mean, on the very high senior leadership team, but you know, I have, I also have a very diverse team as well. Yeah. You know, I, they sit all over in the UK and Poland and in Phoenix, you know, they all come from different backgrounds and yeah. they're not all male or female. It's a good, healthy mix of both. Workday themselves obviously do a lot for, for gender equality and diversity. And, um, and I know they have particular input particular <laughs> interest in uh, in gender pay gaps and ensuring that everyone is is paid fairly um, and lots of their CEOs are women I think five of their CEOs are are female do you think them as an organization encourage their users and and the work their ecosystem to promote women into leadership positions do you think they have an influence on that yeah, I mean, they use their their platform and the way they bring people mm. together as, you know, a very good sounding board, to, yeah. you know, for what other companies want to look like. You know, I recently sat in on their their vibe. Um, oh, yeah, I've seen Value, this. inclusion, belonging, yeah. equality. I sat in on that um, a week or so ago. And okay. I was like, and this is why I love Workday. Yeah. Like, they're, I truly look at them as a thought leader in this yeah. space because they're not a, you know, they, they come up with some, you know, really catchy slogans, you know, yeah. that's a great slogan when you're looking <laughs> yeah. at it. Um, but then they also prove it, right? They're yeah, not they just, oh, well, look at this. Great. Yeah. Like they're there to truly back it up. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, they're not, and they're not shy about it, you know, yeah. and they're, they, they use, you know, when unfortunate social issues come up, you know, they then come out and say, well, here's this yeah. and here's that. And it's not just about being a system, right? But here's yeah. how you can use your system to drive some conversation mm -hmm. within your own company to see, you know, what is your diversity? Yeah. What's your gender equality? How many women do you have in leadership? Yeah. How many minority women Make do you have in to leadership? Do that. Just, yeah. Right. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I find that, you know, when I've been to oh, so many workday risings, yeah. um, you know, there, but even before, you know, the spotlight was put on mm -hmm. diversity and gender equality and pay gaps, they, they sort of were walking the walk already. Yeah. So when, when push came to shove and, you know, all this stuff gets put in the news and everybody's mm -hmm. seeing it, you know, they were already there. Already there. Um, and I think for a younger sort of dynamic company, you know, they're, we're not looking at sort of an old boys club no. mentality, right. That they're coming out with they're, they're, they're yeah. fresh, they're young. Yeah. Um, and I think the companies that, you know, they work very closely with, you know, a lot of yeah. people can adopt that. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're a great example, I think. Um, they are, they are absolutely. Yeah. And I guess the, my, my last question to, to round things off would be to, what, what would you say if there was somebody now in, in a very HR based role and they wanted to, to make that move into more of a, a system based role, they wanted to be a part of all the systems they're using, how, how would you advise and what would you tell them to do in order to put themselves in the best spot to get involved? Yeah, I think the first thing you have to do is raise your hand and tell someone that that's yeah. what you want, right? Mm -hmm. I think what I found when I was, you know, my much younger, you know, self, I won't age myself too much, but when <laughs> I was starting out in my career, um, you know, I never, I didn't always raise my hand and say, I want to do that. Yeah. Can someone teach me that? Um, you know, where's this opportunity for me? Um, I didn't, I don't think I was confident enough in mm -hmm. myself and my abilities to be yeah. able to say, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Um, and so I would just get, lose that, lose that, you know, mm -hmm. fear of rejection. Right. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of it is. I think women these, you know, we're always have a fear of rejection. Right. Yeah. And I think within the workplace, there is no difference for that. So for sure. even if it's something that's a little bit intimidating to you, yeah. take the challenge. Challenges are fun, mm -hmm. um, you know, and enjoy the ride, but don't be afraid to raise your hand yeah. and say, this is what I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Add me too. Yeah. <laughs> and 
from from the conversation we've had I mean it is quite clear that workday isn't that scary like it, it's not yeah. <laughs> once you know yeah. all the HR stuff you can learn the workday stuff and you can become yeah. really great at it you don't have to be a, a really natural born techie that that yeah. loves that kind of thing which is so nice and it gives people like the opportunity to get more into that side of things and where yeah. the money tends to be better where they can give themselves more opportunities and go down so many different routes with their careers which yeah. is great oh yeah. yeah you know it's workday has afforded me the career path that I never yeah. thought I would be in 10 years ago this is I not know. where I thought I would have landed um and but I love it I love yeah. my job I love the company that I work for yeah. um you know and I still get to do new and cool stuff because yeah. you know the platform it's is ever always changing, changing. And it's always it is and yeah you know I have a great team and I, without Workday, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in today. So, you yeah. know, for, for them to create such a great system that, you know, as an HR professional, I could just, I, you know, I merged into yeah. that path and I've done so much with it. It's, it's been, it's been an amazing ride so far and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Cool. I think that's a really great place to end it. And just on, on a nice yeah. note, everyone knows that, yeah, anything's possible. 